I mentioned earlier. Yes. Um, we did Sports Center many times way back in the a day. Million. Now oh, I remember one in particular that I mentioned earlier. Yes. We, you and I were doing like I think like as they said the eleven o'clock Eastern yes. show, and all of a sudden we get a phone call that we have to go on the air immediately because a brawl has broken out at Madison Square Garden because the Andrew Galata Riddick Bow fight went haywire. Right, because normally, I'm not even sure if that was going to be our lead story of that night. At all, right. Right, or if right. I not have made this, it probably would have. Yes. But yeah, so when that happens back in the day, yeah. we went haywire. We did, I remember that. We were like, like you were like knocking on, I think, on, my, on the door, like yes. we gotta go down. No, I had a cubicle, you had an office. Oh, that's yes. true. Yes. I, <laughs> I did start you four did years earlier. No, you did. No, I know that. that no, 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 so, that's okay. Hello. Uh, but anyway, yeah. But we somehow put it together and did a fabulous ad lib the entire program. Because it was one of those things. Because you and I are both from New York City. Sure. And we're, and we're like, no, honestly, we were kind of, I remember we're walking down together. We're saying, okay, we're, we're getting a little bit of bits and pieces as to why something had broken out. Right. And we both looked at each other like, if cops got called to Madison Square Garden, all holy heck had to have broken out. And you love boxing. I mean, you know, give yourself a little credit. I mean, you had, you totally had like done your research on this fight. Well, I remember that with, you love the, you know, you love the fight well, game. Well, you know, the reason, part of the reason why I love the fight game so much, <laughs> it was my way to get out of the Sports Center studio because yeah. Charlie Steiner oh, he owned stopped it. doing it. Yeah, how'd and, that work out? Well, <laughs> <laughs> he stopped doing it, and they asked me to take over the yes. beat. You know, this Jewish kid from Brooklyn who's a lover, not a fighter. Yes. I mean, he's from Staten Island, <laughs> born in That's Brooklyn, true. raised in Staten Island. And, and uh, I, you know, I remember, <laughs> I remember one of the first fights I covered, Chris, was the uh, Holyfield... Michael Moore rematch, Holyfield in, Moore in two, in two. Las Vegas, oh. Nevada. Big, big. Okay. And I did a piece for Sports Center Sunday morning where, you know, Jack Edwards poop, pooped all over it. You know, I've told that story on the yes, show many times. Yes. And, and I did a story mm -hmm. walking around Las Vegas entertainment scene the trying to get all the sound bites of like the Blue Man group and a whole bunch of other people who were on uh, stage at the time in Las Vegas back in that day. Donnie and Marie. No. Wait, no. they were no, not no, no, no. This is a great story. Not, this is a great story. Great story. And I told, I don't know why I brought it up to you, Linda, but I came up to you, I'm like, hey, I got this idea for a story and all this stuff. And one of the people who said, yes, I will do an interview and be part of your silly piece was <laughs> David Cassidy. The first love of my life as a 12 year old. <laughs> and she went nuts, you went nuts. It was the greatest thing Rich has ever done. He brings back an, you brought back an autographed picture. Well, you said, you, yes. you said, can I, if you can get anything, can I get an autographed picture of him? And instead, I yes. got a photograph of you that you autographed to him that I got him to put up in his mirror in his dressing room. Incredible. <laughs> it's just, it's one of those moments. People would think, oh, here's Rich and Linda talking about the old days at ESPN. It has to be sports no, related. No. no, it no. was something as great as David, Cass the late David Cassidy. How May sad. He he is no, yes. I know. Uh, but Rich, that's, I think, one of your top 10 claims to fame <laughs> for, for me on my top 10, my sports center top 10 of Rich Eisen's greatest. I'm that's David I, Cassidy makes the top 10. I'm glad I didn't make the not top 10. Do you know what's another one? No, the what's not top 10. Right. Friday funnies. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay. The not top 10. Yes. Um, but the good thing, one of the shows we did together. Yes. I was telling lovely Sarah in makeup. Yes. Um, the turn of the century, or what do they call it, when we went from 1999 to 2000. Y2K. The Y2K. Yeah, that's what it was called. Yeah. Why did I forget that? Charlie Steiner, again, another Charlie reference. You know what? He had a great commercial. Yes. But we did that amazing sports center, which was like visuals of all the greatest moments of like that's the right. 19. Do you remember this? Yeah. And it yeah. was an amazing, me and you, everyone watched it. I think you can get it on YouTube. And the whole thing is <laughs> they had Aerosmith dream on. And the backdrop. Do you remember I it? I do, of course. You had like all the greatest moments. Muhammad Ali, Cal Ripken, like yeah. all these iconic sports right. moments. Why we both fell in love with sports. Why we wanted to do it's, this for a living. It was a goosebump thing. It, it was. It, it and was. that's another th show I remember with you. I do remember That makes our that. top ten. You know what? Uh, Linda Cohn here on the Rich Eisen Show. Who who did you, who, if they, I know that they did um, count up all your sports centers when you passed, I guess. Uh, who did you pass for I the have most? no idea who I passed. They, okay. they, and, it, and I hit the 5,000 milestone like two years ago. Right. 
and it's still going yeah, it was, strong. It was LC 5K is yes, what it was. It was LC5K. I remember that. And so uh, who, who did, <laughs> did they count up how many you did with each person? Like who, who's no, the person they did you did not. the most? Who do you think is the person you did the most that's sports great, with? That's a great point. I mean, you were definitely up there, I think. I mean, you and I did a lot. We did a lot. But, but you know, you had your, obviously, the late Stuart Scott, you know, yeah. but we were like in that kind of. I was always rotation. that you have rotation, you were, yes. you know, in the in the pen. No, I was you in, the pen. in the pen. You were not in the pen, Linda. <laughs> you were not in the pen. Wait, maybe but I'm Mariano I, Rivera. Maybe no, I'm coming out the no, close. No, no. When I well, John Franco for you. Okay, okay that's right, true. Right. But I'd rather be Mariano. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember, you know, when I did more 11s with you when I wasn't doing the 2 a.m. with Stuart true. Scott. That's true. Because you, you got the earlier but shift. But that's a great question. But I would I would think you'd be right up there. And now we've gone to the top five of sports centers yeah. I've done the most with. Rich Eisen. You have to be in the top five. Well, I haven't been there in 16 years. But it's possible because it's now a lot of depth, a lot of... <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, everything's so like, a sports it's a deep term. Bench. It's, a it's, deep a deep bench. Bench. it's a deep bench on sports it center. Is. That sounded like a pedoism right there. <laughs> really Bill Peterism is a deep bench. I did not do as many sports centers. What about Kilborn? No. Uh, you're a bigger fan of Craig than I was. <laughs> <laughs> Due respect. Uh, he was here a couple weeks I'm ago. I'm sure he was. He is was. He, is he working anywhere? <laughs> Maybe he needs some help. You were there to help No. Them. You help no. people, Rich. You know what, Linda? He came here. He's got his, he got his, got his great Instagram feed. He I came heard here. about that, he's, yeah. He's, he's funny. He is funny. But I always remember him. All right, let's, we can get off the Craig subject. Okay. <laughs> No more stories about Craig. Okay. Oh, you're no good. You, no, you I'm just what? saying I always remember people. I, he, always, he was always nice to me. Yes. But his focus was being the next David Letterman. And do you remember what I always told you? Mm, no. And, and, okay, great. No, <laughs> no. Uh, no. Uh, you but told I, me a lot of things. Oh, I don't because know. I thought, and I still do, Just and I, that's why I'm so proud of you, because I always used to say you would make a great late night talk show host. A, you're funny. You can ad lib great. You're great with people. You make them feel comfortable. And now look at you. Well, Linda, you're... So that's the truth. I always said that, you know. It's, and, and, well, it's now, honest. I mean, now uh, that's why I love doing this every day. That's yeah, why because that's what this, this is. Day. It's just daytime. For more of The Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download The Rich Eisen Show app.